Lieutenant General Frankie Sheck Feitel was a Czech fighter pilot during World War II. Born on the 20th of August 1912, he was a British Royal Air Force squadron and wing commander and led a group of Czechoslovak fighter pilots who formed an air regiment under Soviet Air Force Command, supporting the Slovak National Uprising in 1944. Despite his hero status, like many other Czech pilots who fought on the Western Front, Feitel was harshly treated by the communists after the war. He was thrown out of the army and sent to a labour camp, before later being forced to work as a labourer and clerk. He was dismissed from the Czechoslovak Air Force and was held in prison for a year and a half without a trial after the communists came to power in 1948 and was only fully rehabilitated after the Velvet Revolution in 1989. He wrote many autobiographical books about his wartime experiences and was an inspiration for the 2001 film Tmavo Modri Svet or Dark Blue World. The Boy from Donin František Feitel was born in Donin in northern Bohemia, which was part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire until after World War I when it became Czechoslovakia in 1918 and is now part of the Czech Republic. As a child, he was brought up in the spirit of patriotism and obedience. Growing up, he was an active member of the Sokol organization, an all-age gymnastics group. He studied in a commercial academy, then joined the military, passing the exams to the military academy in Hranice na Moravie. During his second year of studies, he began to study aviation in Prostjejov. In 1935, František graduated from the academy as a lieutenant pilot. He joined the Air Force Regiment in Prerov, where he flew observation biplanes, mostly Aero A100 and Aero A101 with No. 63 Squadron, in the 2nd Air Regiment Edvard Benesh, based at Olomouc and Prerov in Moravia. In March 1939, he had to watch the surrender of the airport to the Germans. It is here that his life of adventure and resistance truly began. Escaping the Protectorate After the occupation of Czechoslovakia in 1939, he was dismissed from the Air Force, and in common with many Czech and Slovak soldiers, he illegally crossed the border and fled through Poland to France. Feitel joined the French Air Force, ranked Sergeant au titre étranger, or Foreign Sergeant, and from there he was supposed to be deployed in the Foreign Legion in Africa. However, ended up fighting in two fighter wings near Lyon and Paris, flying Bloch MB-152 and Moran Saulnier MS-406 aircraft. After the fall of France, he escaped to North Africa through Port Ventre and travelled to Great Britain via Gibraltar, where he joined the Royal Air Force. As an RAF pilot officer, he took part in the Battle of Britain. He was a member of No. 1 Squadron at RAF Northolt and then No. 17 Squadron flying Hawker Hurricanes. He transferred to No. 313 Squadron, which was formerly at RAF Katarik in May 1941, from Czechoslovak pilots flying Spitfires. The squadron moved to Cornwall to escort bombers attacking northwest France, and later moved to RAF Hornchurch in December 1941 to conduct ground attack operations in the Pas de Calais. Despite some apprehension at foreign pilots flying in the RAF, his leadership was recognised and he was promoted to squadron leader to command No. 122 Squadron in 1942, becoming the first Czechoslovak to become a commander of a British squadron. On the 5th of May 1942, his Spitfire was shot down over northern France while escorting bombers attacking Lille, and crash landed near Hasbrook within the heavily defended Atlantic Hall. He evaded capture and made his way through the occupied and free Vichy France over the Pyrenees to Spain, where he was captured and imprisoned in a concentration camp at Miranda de Ebro. As a result of British diplomatic intervention, Faisal was released after a few weeks and returned to his squadron in England via Gibraltar. After his return to England, he became a liaison officer. He was awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross in November 1942 and promoted to wing commander. He commanded the fighter station at RAF Skibray in the Orkney Islands, but dropped a rank to return to Command No. 313 Czechoslovak Fighter Squadron flying Spitfires from RAF Ibsley.
the fight for freedom. In 1944, Franciszek Vital was assigned to command a group of 20 Czechoslovak pilots, forming the first Czechoslovak independent fighter air regiment in the Soviet Union as a result of negotiations between the London-based Czechoslovak government in exile and the military mission in the Soviet Union. The air regiment was part of the first Czechoslovak army corps, but was under the command of the Soviet air force. The government in exile's intentions were to support the rebellion in occupied Czechoslovakia, which became later known as the Slovak National Uprising, launched on the 29th of August 1944 in Banská Bystrica. On the 17th of September 1944, Fatal landed with the regiment on Zolná Airport near Zvolen and including Tridube Airport with Lavakin LA-5FN fighters. The air group was a significant power, mostly due to their surprise effect. The Germans did not realise the presence of a fighter group based within the region. When the Slovak National Uprising was suppressed in October 1944, the air regiment returned to a Soviet-controlled airbase in Poland. After the defeat of the uprising, Feitel continued fighting in the Eastern Front, and the end of the war found him in Poland. His last military assignment was during the Ostrava operation in 1945. After his return to Czechoslovakia, he remained in the army and became a regimental commander and a deputy to the division commander. Shortly after World War II, Franciszek Feitel was awarded many orders and medals and served as lieutenant colonel in the Czechoslovak army. Foreign Spy Upon his return to Prague in 1945, Feitel was regarded as a hero, but was treated with a lot of suspicion due to his connections with Britain and other foreign powers during the war. In February 1948, the Communists seized political power and took control of the armed forces, after which Feitel was subsequently dismissed from the Czechoslovak Air Force in 1949. He was then arrested by the Stalinist government because of his connections to Britain and held for 17 months in a labour camp at Mirov without a trial. After his release, he reunited with his family and was forced to live outside Prague, whilst being subject to many other restrictions. Franciszek then earned his living as a labourer, construction technician and an accountant. He was partially rehabilitated in 1968 during the Prague Spring, but only after the fall of the communist regime during the Velvet Revolution in 1989 was he fully rehabilitated and awarded the rank of Lieutenant General in retirement and many other decorations. A life well celebrated. After his rehabilitation in 1989, Franciszek Feitel became a chairman of the Czech Airmen Association and was promoted to Lieutenant General, the second highest rank in the Czech Army. On the 28th of September 2004, he was awarded the highest order of the Czech Republic, the Order of the White Lion. He also decided to relive his stories and he wrote 14 mostly autobiographical books about his wartime experiences, also chronicles of the Czech soldiers fighting in foreign armies during the war and about his sad experiences with communist persecution. He was also an inspiration for the 2001 film Tamavo Modri Svět or Dark Blue World. By the end of his military career and life, he was a highly decorated aviator, having won a great number of medals and honours. These include the Order of the White Lion, Third Class Military, Czech Republic, Distinguished Flying Cross, Grand Cross of the French Legion of Honour, Order of the White Lion for Victory, Czechoslovak Military Cross, Order of the Slovak National Uprising, First Class. Order of M.R. Stefanik. Franciszek Feitel died on the 4th of September 2006 in Prague, survived by his wife Hannah and two daughters. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please give it a like. And for more amazing tales and thrilling stories, don't forget to subscribe to Uncovered Secrets. Also, hit the bell icon to stay notified for every release.